It almost looked like a hero send-off as Wagner's fighters loaded up and headed out of the western Russian city of Rostov-on-Don. Several hours after they pushed into the community not far from Ukraine's border. Thanks a lot, shouted someone from the crowd. Come back alive, yelled another. Wagner's leader, Yevgeny Prigozhin, was cheered too as he was driven away, apparently headed to Belarus. On Sunday, the visible signs of what the Kremlin called a treacherous mutiny are gone, left behind a mix of concern and confusion. How can one in a situation where we are in conflict in another country have an internal war as well, says this man? The revolt unfolded along the main highway leading to Moscow. Tensions rose in the capital. Anti-terrorism measures were put in place. The actions we will take to protect our homeland from the threat will be harsh, warned Putin. But by nightfall, a sudden, abrupt reversal because of a deal apparently brokered by Belarus. Prigozhin would no longer face criminal charges and Wagner fighters turned around, ending a rebellion which was the biggest challenge to Putin's hold on power yet. For months, Prigozhin was railing against Russia's military leaders, accusing them of botching the war. We can be confident in saying this is the beginning of a new phase. This expert on Russia says Prigozhin's tirades against the elites and corruption are gaining traction with some. It's, if I were Putin, I would feel quite worried because these are emotions and impressions and feelings that he used to tap into very, very well. And now they're sort of, well, in this case, they were slightly turned against him. But of course, there was no mention of that on Russian state television. Predictably, Putin was praised for his quick decisions, which the host said helped foil Prigozhin, the traitor, who was rarely talked about before on the popular Kremlin channels. Mumin Shakirov says only independent journalists like himself, who report from outside the country, would cover Prigozhin. That's changed. Everybody before thinks that Putin controlled all the situation, all, all the level of political uh, uh, parties uh, and uh, societies and all. But in that moment, uh, he, uh, everybody knows, everybody knew that uh, situation uh, not controlled by Putin. Prior, we know Wagner troops have returned to base, but, but what else do we know about this deal? Well, Ian, according to the Kremlin, Prigozhin won't face any charges and neither will the fighters that took part in the revolt. But there are a lot of unknowns. Just where is Prigozhin? He has not been seen in public today and he hasn't posted anything on social media where he is normally quite active. The Kremlin insists that Putin has stayed in the capital, but he hasn't been seen in public and nor has Russia's Minister of Defense. Barrow Stewart reporting tonight from London. The gains they claim are small and hard fought. Ukraine's military says this video shows soldiers retaking Russian carved trenches in Bakhmut. The long planned counteroffensive is well underway and could see fresh momentum in the aftermath of the brief Russian uprising. And to the extent that Russia is now distracted, I think that creates an, an additional advantage for the Ukrainians to take advantage of. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky worked the phones, pressing allies, including the U.S. and Canada, for more military support in this remarkable moment. I think what we saw this weekend was how fragile Putin's leadership is right now, how fragile the military is. President Vladimir Putin got some backing from China, with senior officials praising stability and the leadership of the Russian Federation. But otherwise, initial international reaction was blunt. I think this was the biggest mess so far uh, since beginning of Vladimir Putin's rule near, nearly a quarter of a century ago. If Putin is feeling humiliated, there are fears it could trigger even more erratic behavior. Mr. Uh, Putin may want to show some of his own strength in the only way he knows how, by firing more missiles at Ukraine. The U.S. says there are no signs Russia is changing its nuclear weapons posture. It's just one of the elements officials are monitoring as they try to learn more about this power struggle. It, it shows real cracks. We can't speculate or know exactly where that's going to go. We do know that 
Putin has a lot more to answer for in the, in the weeks and months ahead. Western allies are gathering what intelligence they can to determine whether this is the end of this chaos or just the start. Katie Simpson, CBC News, Washington.